Enter for a chance to win an awesome prize. All you gotta do is be subscribed and like my videos. For more information, check the description box below. This video is sponsored by Fanatic.dk. What is going on guys? Dr. Fetch here with another part of the cons of Tark here booster box opening. So yeah, we're still looking for fetch lands. We already pulled three and hopefully we can pull more in this part of the box. And before I start the video, don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more magic videos. And without further ado, you guys, into more cons. Six, six, and six. There we go. So, give us more fetches. Heard some rumors, or at least some people have told me in the past that only three fetches can appear. Flying crane technique. Yeah, maybe. So yeah, only three fetches uh, on average, maybe. Uh, wasn't paying that much attention, if I'm completely honest, but I feel like it's only three fetches per box, which means that we're gonna have to be ridiculously lucky to get another one. And we actually get another one. A wooded foothills. Wow, okay. So we have gotten four fetch lands in one box. Yep, Rudy on Alpha Investments wasn't lying when he told us that cons is all about the fetch. And it really is, you know. The only thing that keeps cons of Tarkir afloat is actually fetch lands. Uh, Mendering Tower Shell. Yeah. I mean, I guess, but not really one of the pulls that we we're looking for in these packs, but you know, <clears throat> hopefully we can get more fetches. Butcher of the Horde. That's not a fetch. Yeah, so let me know in the comments down below if any of you guys played cons. I know I asked this in the first part, but I really, I am curious to know if you played it. A foil Woolly Loxodon. Yeah, maybe. Dune Blast, or uh, as they call it in Fanatic, Dane Blast. Yep, it's a good card. <clears throat> Definitely a very nice pull. It was played, I think, but now I'm not sure. But it might have been. Can we pull more fetches? Or foil fetches? Master of Pearls. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> I'm not sure, sure about uh, that pull, but well, that's just how it goes. Wooded Foothills is definitely a nice pull since it's a fetch land and I believe it's played. Might swipe once again. So. We're starting to get duplicate rares here, but we're also getting Absan Charm. That was definitely played. Absan has got to be the strongest archetype of anything to come out of Karns, for sure. A dismal backwater. Uh, if this was a foil fetch, that would have been awesome. Karu, Spell Snatcher. I believe this card was played a bit but I'm not too sure. Maybe it was only in, you know, like uh, like sealed or draft. But I kind of feel like it was played. Not too sure. Island, and we have a Siege Rhino. Awesome pull. Uh, I don't know if it's played anymore, but I just feel like it's such a cool card. And wow, it messed up standard for sure. I mean, yeah, let's just take a look at this, you guys. You'll see what I'm what I'm getting at here. So it's a 4-5-4-4. Four, four, four. It has trample, and when it enters the battlefield, each opponent, not your opponent, but each opponent, loses three life, and you gain three life. It's absolutely insane. I mean, the, the value on a card like that is just 
it, it changed standard and that's also kind of the reason why Absan became so good was actually because of the Siege Rhino. I mean, didn't do it alone. You know, Elspeth did a lot of work too, but that combined with Thoughtseize and everything was just crazy. Dragon Style Twins. It seems like a good card, but most likely it's not since it's very slow. Uh, but it has double strike. But if it was a 4 4, then that would be another story, or at, at least could have been a 3 and then 1 red mana, so a 4 drop. But yeah, you know, maybe. Our first mythic of this part is Wingmate Rock. That was actually a pretty decent mythic, and it saw some play uh, sometimes in the main deck, but also it could be in the uh, sideboard of the Absan decks. So, yeah, definitely pretty satisfied with that pull for sure. So, we have seven packs left here, you guys. Let's see if we can pull another fetch land. Seriously, hope that we can. Okay, Swamp and High Sentinels of Arison. Yeah, so not the pull that I was hoping for, Become Immense was definitely a good uncommon. Might have said that in part one, actually. But it definitely feels like that only fetches are adding value to this set. And, well, I think I'm right about that. Foil Forest. Uh, why can't it be foil fetch lands? Rattleclaw Mystic, rare. Yeah, it was a good rare. Not sure it is anymore, since, you know, cards have to be pretty powerful in order for you to play them uh, in modern. But yeah, you know. Mountain and Mantis Rider. I really love this card. This card was so cool. So let me just read this to you guys. It's a blue, red, and white uh, mana. So three mana for three, three with flying, vigilance, and haste. I freaking loved this card for limited play. It was so goddamn strong. Murderous Cut, also one of the good cards. Let me read this to you. And this should highlight how powerful Delve is if it's actually a mechanic that you're going to use. So, and you can obviously combine it with fetch lands. So, Delve is a mechanic where each card you exile from your graveyard while casting this spell pays for one colorless. So you can actually make this an instant for one mana that destroys target creature. And that was just absolutely insane. Uh, Cause you could just, you can tinker your deck to be a deck where uh, you actually put cards into your graveyard that you don't need, then use them for delve. And that's pretty much why Dig Through Time was banned, I think. It was too powerful. A Foil Ice Feather Aven. Yeah, it actually, uh, actually seems like a good card, even if you don't morph it. An Otter End. Actually, also one of the good rares back in the day. Wow, this box has been fairly good. Can't complain too much about this, and we actually still have three packs left here, you guys. That is freaking awesome. So let's see here, what do we have? An Avalanche Tusker. Well, that's not the card that I wanted to see. I want to see fetches, and we still got two more packs left, so hopefully we can get a fetch in one of these. Would be very awesome. We already got four fetches, so we're already above average. But a foil fetch, that would be awesome. Altar of the Brood. Yeah. It might actually have been played. I'm not too sure, because it has been a long time since this set rotated out. But, you know, then again, it could be. So for this last pack, and I actually think I forgot to do it in part one. We're going to do it like that now. So... We have a Bitter Revelation, a Hooting Mandrels, Efret Weapon Master, Mardu War Shrieker, Awaken the Bear, Shampling Attendance, Whirlwind Adept, yeah, or, yeah, Adept, 
Siegecraft and Windscarred Crack with Bloodfell Caves. So that's it for the commons of this pack. Now we get into the uncommons. We have a Horling Outburst, Jeskai Elder, Mardu Charm, and a Jaring Instigator. Yeah, okay, so not really the card that I was hoping to see there. I was hoping to see a fetch, as you all know, but that's just how it goes. Slippery cards right there. But yeah, so you guys, let's do a quick recap of, yeah, let's do a quick recap of at least the, the mythics and the fetches, as well as some of the good foils that we got. So let's start off. Uh, let's do it like, I want to do it like this. So we take the mythics first. I mean, let's do it. Yeah, let's take the rare first. So we have Blood Soak Champion, Hollow, rare, or foil. Sergo Hell Smasher, mythic. Empty the Pits, mythic. See the Unwritten, mythic. Wing Made Rock, mythic. And now for fetches, Wind Sweep, uh, Heath. Uh, Wooded Foothills, Flooded Strand, and Bloodstained Mire. So yeah, overall, I think this box has definitely been above average. And of course, with the fetches that we got, we can't really complain at all. So that's it for this video, guys. Please remember to thumbs up, comment, share, all that good stuff. You know the drill. It helps other people find in my channel, and it makes it possible for me to do more videos for you guys. So again, thank you so much for watching this video, and don't forget to subscribe.